Going on, Governors! Chiss School here, and today... No, I'm not wearing a crab costume, although, chat, that's very funny. Not a bad idea if I dressed up as a crab. That would have been pretty funny. Happy Halloween, everybody. Hope that you're doing well. Today, I don't think I'm going to hit you with a jump scare, although... These Gorgo Field reports... Might leave you a little bit afraid about bumping up against a Gorgo in the open field. So today we're going to test. We're going to find out. Is Gorgo the all-star in the open field that, honestly, she might be? Now, before I jump in, need to do a couple things. First of all, thank you to Rise of Kingdoms for sponsoring today's live stream. As many of you know, a certain number of my videos are sponsored each month by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms, and they're super easy to work with. So big shout out to the makers of Rise of Kingdoms for sponsoring today's live stream. They don't pick the topics, they don't curate the content, they just let me make Rise of Kingdoms videos and support my doing that on an ongoing basis, which I appreciate. So big shout out to the makers of Rise of Kingdoms for sponsoring today's live stream, and a big shout out to the members and moderators. Let's shout them out, baby. Stonelax, Offense Gaming, Unknown OP, Nico Fuma. What's up, dude? Scar, Why Am I Here? Macbo. We're going to talk about Macs a little bit later today, by the way. I got a new Mac Book Pro in the mail. MC4001, Ryan, what's up? Sebi, how's it going, Torjor? Good to see you all. Chloe, the troll is here. 
Black Wolf. Thank you for the five months, dude. I appreciate you. And a big shout out to my legendary guard. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. I deeply appreciate you. Pictures of the legendary guard rotate on the wall of this scene, this war room. Chiss, tell me you didn't order a new MacBook before the event yesterday. Actually, I did. Funny enough, I did. So what did Chisquel Gaming do? I ordered a new MacBook Pro like three days ago. And it hadn't shipped yet. So I could just return it. So I returned it and got a new MacBook Pro instead. Very easy. Very easy to do. Now, I ended up spending a good bit more on this new MacBook Pro, but, like, it should be a much better machine. So, pretty happy with that overall. Yeah, oh, thank God. No, bro, tell me about it. Tell me about it. I was like, oh, my gosh. It's actually, like, the best case scenario. Like, not only is it a more powerful machine that I'll be getting, granted, I'm paying more for it, but it's going to also arrive to me sooner. Big brain? Oh, yeah. It's the, um, I got, I think it's the second best sort of stock option for the 16-inch MacBook Pro. I mean, it's a fancy machine, let me tell you. But I got a little bit of travel coming up, and I really want to be able to do whatever I need to do while I'm traveling. Uh, pretty sure it's the M3 Max on this thing. Now, granted... Wait, y'all need to fill me in here. I've never tried to play Rise of Kingdoms on a Mac. Did I get the matte black one? Yeah, I did. Can you actually play Rise of Kingdoms on the Mac? Or does it download the mobile app? Like, it's not the PC version that you play on the Mac, right? Like, it's actually the mobile version that you play? Does someone know? Is it the mobile version that you play? It's the mobile version. Someone else says, yes, you can. Yes, but not PC. I mean, like... It's mobile version. Mobile version... Like... I don't know, I may as well just play on my, play on my iPad, right? I'm sure it's the iOS version. Slane says, yeah, it works. It's not bad. Spoiler alert. Gorgo Liuchet is the best option for Field March right now. I That's what I expect we'll find. Let me get in voice real quick to uh, sort out exactly how we're doing this test. Give me a sec here. Um, let's see, I'm going to jump into SW voice, we'll jump into kingdom voice, so that's the migration discord, my bad. I'm pretty sure you can type exclamation migration and it'll give you a link to that. Any equipment crafting? Hey, yo, how many legendary materials do you think I have, chat? How many legendary materials do you think I have saved up, by the way? If you had to guess, what's the number? Not a hundred thousand. Yeah, so uh, it's definitely not ten thousand, but it is like a thousand legendary materials. No kidding. I have like a thousand legendary materials saved up. Billy the goat. 
with the 20 gifted. Let's freaking go. Let's get those hype emojis for Billy the Goat. Yo, fat 20 gifted in the house. Let's freaking go. GG's. The ones from the refund they gave me, plus materials I have been accumulating, but don't have anything to make. Oh god, clearing the fog. Yeah, I can't send my scouts out right now, because we're going to enter a practice match. Big GG's, chat says. All right, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so we'll go with HY. HY, welcome to the Elite Guard, dude. Let's get those hype emojis for HY. That's 21 new members to the Elite Guard. Let's go. Yeah, so Billy, I ended up getting a pretty nice uh, MacBook Pro, as you might have heard earlier on the stream. Chiss school's hoarding for the next update? Absolutely, bro. Absolutely, freaking lutely You should be too. But like, as soon as the next update lands, I want to take my meta infantry set, which is kind of all over the place right now, where I have it deployed. But I want to take the Hope Cloak, and I want to take that to like tier 5 or whatever the max is. I want to take my Eternal Might. I want to take that probably to tier 5, right? Like... There's a bunch of things I'm going to try to do instantly. How many gold heads do you have? I have a lot of gold heads, but I have not yet maxed Gorgo. I have not yet maxed Liu Che, so like those will disappear quickly. I have 2,028. Man, that number keeps going up. That's pretty dope, actually. Actually kind of amazing. So who knows? Maybe I'll max Henry by the time he's irrelevant, you know? Just in time to be irrelevant is my best guess. Alternatively, Justinian is actually looking insane. So that could be a thing I end up doing. Or Dido is pretty good. Oh, we got things to do. Kami, welcome to the Elite Guard. 22 new members in the Elite Guard at the start of the stream. Let's freaking go. Um, let's see here. Chadziki is asking, what build on the Gorgo Garrison? Uh, your call. For Gorgo Garrison, I assume we just mirror whatever you did for the previous tests. So that we can compare apples to apples. Now, um, I think I see Fluffy Pony in voice. Pony, are you here? What's up, dude? Um, I hear that you're gearing up your Gorgo for field testing. Ready to go. So you have your best infantry gear on there? Best infantry gear. Okay, so could you take off the city theme? The reason that I'd like to do it city theme off is that I'm going to use a couple different troop types. And so obviously I can't mirror the city theme for each troop type in a single arc match. And um, what buffs do you have running? Perfect. That's great. I will match your 5% defense buff. All right. Um, now I need to gear up some commanders to test with. Ooh. Let's see here. Why don't we try, like, a Skippy Sargon? Or maybe Sargon Skippy would be the way to run that. Let's see. Oh, Huo, we definitely need to gear up. 100%. Best set. Um, 
I kind of want to put a ring and horn on there, actually. I have the ring. I'm going to need the horn. First, though, let's see here. For archers, I mean, I think Budokazuge Leong is what I should do, yeah? I think we go with the best set we have there. That just makes a lot of sense. Sargon. Best set. MSN, thank you for the six months, dude. In general, could you test more often unpopular commanders and pairs? I think it's often fun to see it and very interesting. It's something you could definitely think about. Uh, so Huo. This is my best set, but I want a ring, or a horn rather. There we go. Okay. Good. And, um, Fluffy, you have a field build on the Gorgo for this? Cool. Okay. Yeah, seems reasonable. All right. I might do these talents a little differently myself, but overall, pretty good. Test Tadak Ibn Ziyad with CJ? Uh, I don't think we plan to do that today. We are going to do a full gear test. I'm just going to take my city theme off, as I had requested. Gorgo, Constantine, Relic in the garrison. So great news. If we have enough people today, we will test Gorgo, Constantine, and the garrison. All right. Um, Gorgo, Pyrrhus, Garrison, maybe? All right, so let's see here. Chat's asking for the 1960 KVK. Oh, good. Practice match is set up, by the way. Although I'm... Hey, Ihara, what's up? Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you dropping in. Happy Halloween, Chisco. Please buy some snacks for your kid. Thank you so much. Big shout out to Ihara. For those that don't know, she's also a Rise of Kingdoms content creator. And I believe was playing in the 1960 KVK. Big shout out to Ihara. Hope you'll check out her YouTube channel. Hope you're doing well, and thank you so much for the Halloween wishes. Let me check this out. Sounds like Chadsky might have just switched this around. How old is my kid? Um, she's three. I have a three-year-old. Oh, there we go. I'm on the red team now. Good. I have a three-year-old, and I have 
Another kid less than a year old. Oh my god, she's so small. So sweet. Hey, Mr. Chadsky. What's up, dude? Uh, I am live, although I do not have voice pumped through to the stream. So y'all can talk away about whatever you want. Yep. Oh, I hear the love, baby. It's real. Um, dude, Cortex, your profile is all freaking swirly and ghosty in Discord. What the heck? Your profile is like swirly and ghosty, like it's got an animation. It's very fancy. Um, I'm gonna mute up for a second, but I think on my end, I'm ready to go. So, uh, Fluffy's got the 5% defense token, uh, so do I. I guess I can clean out my commander tab, actually. I think that's fine. Yeah, mirroring what you did is makes a lot of sense. Chat, my restart KVK is getting really crazy. In a good way for us. In a good way for us. Our allies are putting in work right now. Let me show you. Let me show you. Claim all these goodies first. Okay. So this zone is where things are getting really spicy for our allies. Okay. So, let me start with our zone. So, we went into this zone. We took this. We took all the way to this pass. And we kept pushing these forts over here. And ultimately, we actually made a very strategic choice to depart from this zone. Now, I don't want to get into the nature of that strategic choice. Because I think it reveals information that's important that I not reveal. But we made a strategic choice to give the enemy this zone. So we left the zone and reestablished a defensive position here. When this pass opened, we fought for the forts. We actually won and built forts on this side. So our allies, you may recall, fought in this zone, but they did not win this zone. What that meant is that when this zone opened and it's the same people fighting again, our allies couldn't really do as much until a day later when this pass opened. So this fight is a 2v2. Technically, it's a 4v3. The enemy has four kingdoms. We have three kingdoms. But it is two starting zones versus two starting zones, okay? And our allies in this middle camp seem to really be swaying things in our favor over here when combined with our allies in the rightmost camp. This is a top first bottom KVK, by the way. So our allies have been slowly and steadily like pushing up, pushing up, pushing up, 
And they're now pushed up all the way to these forts at the circle, which is really cool. They're doing a great job. Like, if they keep this up, this is really good for us because it's at least another, I want to say, week before King's Land. I'll get the exact date in a minute. And our allies are now pushing this way. So this is important to make this a 3v3 entry in the King's Land. If our allies can get this pass, then we have three passes. The enemies have three passes. If our allies can get this pass, then it's a 4v2 pass entries into King's Land, which is a big deal. Ramadex, thank you for the super chat, dude. Hey, Chesco, huge fan. Wanted to ask. I got a Minamoto X2C Max. I'm about to get into KVK3. I don't know which commander I should focus on. Man. I mean, I feel like Zuge Liang is one of the highest power level commanders you'll get access to in KVK3. It's like Zuge Liang, Skippy Prime, Liu Che, Nevsky are like the top tier commanders that you could gain access to. Because you already have Mina Double C, like, I'm not saying those are amazing, but I feel like you want to work your way into three different troop combos. One infantry, one archer, one cavalry. So, like, technically you've already got a cavalry march, so I'd try to get into some other marches as well. Um... Hey, by the way, does our garrison for this test have the relic on Constantine? I assume so. Okay. So yeah, this should be a exciting test that we're about to do. All right, test is about to begin. Skippy Sargon or Sargon Skippy? I think Sargon primary just ekes out more damage. Skippy primary gives you more damage mitigation. Both good. El Homie. Thank you for the nine months, dude. Glad to make it to the live stream as a truck driver. I've driven thousands of miles with your videos in the background. Hey, cheers, dude. That's awesome to hear. I'm glad that I can keep you entertained, man. Um, I'm no stranger to a long drive, but not that long of a drive, you know? <laughs> that is serious. All right, confirming before we enter. Uo. Dressed up in his finest wares. Boom. Hello? Please load. What the heck, game? Thank you. Sargon? And Boudicca Prime. Uh, right, so what I was trying to say was that, um, Henry has, no, Henry has a major skill damage taken reduction on the active skill on his talents if he's the primary. So, uh, the smite damage counters that, yes. Henry bad, is what I was trying to say. Yeah, Henry, Henry countered. Dude, apparently Gilgamesh is back in style. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, I mean, plus the 15% normal attack damage mitigation should work against smite damage, right? I think it works that way.
Armaments don't apply in arc, so it doesn't matter. Try Wu Zetian for giggles. Oh, man. Who should we bet on in the Grand Prix? In general, I am placing bets on the uh, Chinese server teams. It's my impression, although I don't actually know. But it's my impression that the environment is just more competitive. Sorry for the sneezes. Also, just cool. I'm kind of stuck on the gear that I got. I don't know what gear to invest in for cavalry. I saw your vid, but it's without gear updates. So, um, I made a vid recently about the top cavalry. Recently-ish. Last six months or so. And the gear is the same. But I've also made, like, what is the best free-to-play gear? What is the best first legendaries to make? I've made several videos about this. So I would definitely... Oh, ooh, Yoda. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. All right. Seeing Yoda means quick alt F4. Yoda be like, I want some of this action. Yeah, so for those that don't know, the 808 in the Yoda 808 here is his... Uh, is, a, is a Hawaiian zip code. So Yoda is from Hawaii. So he's, he's pretty time shifted. He's on a crazy schedule, man. I'm here. I'm here. I'm on the blue team. I'm right next to you. Uh, I don't think it's on a Saturday. I don't know what day it's on, dude. Uh, let me check the calendar. Oh. Bro. What are you doing? You should go. Um... In a worst case, we just do with like a thousand. Or yeah, a million. Yeah, you know what I meant. I'm glad you know what I mean these days. <laughs> Dude, don't listen to what I say. Just listen to what I mean. A thousand versus a thousand. It's actually the most sophisticated form of test. All right, chat. So we get in position, and we're going to do two things at the same time here. First of all, um, we're going to try to test a, a Gorgo Constantine. I know that sounds weird, but people are saying it's crazy. So we need to test it. Yak, thank you for the super chat. I don't actually know how to pronounce your name. So it's either Yak. Anyways. Thank you so much for the super chat, dude. The uh, Germany meetup's the 18th, right? Is that when that is? This is a thing I should know. And uh, at the same, same time that we garrison test, we're going to open field test. Yeah. Event information. Yeah, it's on the 18th. Chris says you got two truck drivers with you playing in the background. I'm on the road. Oh, I'm I'm on the road now. 
Not driving though, Lamau. But I'm on the road. Right on, dude. I appreciate you. Please test Gorgo with Leonidas. Uh, I suppose we could. But like, I think Gorgo Liucha is like the obvious thing. Gorgo Charles? I mean, I... Dude, Yoda's friggin' hunting people down over here. <laughs> Yoda's got all these T1s, man. Number one T1 player. Well... What's that one KVK where everyone swarms everything? Orleans. Orleans KVK is crazy. Um, you want to see a Gorgo Charles Martel in the open field? I actually am not opposed to it. Only titled officers can use it. GG. <laughs> I, um... <coughs> pardon me. <laughs> Dude, I've had this, like, weird cough for a while. Anyways, I, um, got my COVID vaccine yesterday. My arm is killing me. They were like, do you want us to do your right arm or your left arm? I was like, my left arm, for sure. Definitely left. Twenty five percent expansions might be enough on everybody else. And then you just like fill with you know, like Freddy and Caesar. Give you some extra. You had the flu vaccine a couple weeks ago and had no side effects? That's great, dude. When I got my first COVID vaccine, oh my god. Bro, I had the chills. I was struggling. I was struggling. This time I seem to be, knock on wood, doing fine here. Juan says, I took my 12-year-old to a vaccine center, and as he was about to sit down, he ran to the car and locked himself inside. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Bro. All right, Fluffy, I poured it right next to you. So, um, we can actually test kind of just south of our cities, I think. That way we just don't run the risk of messing with the test.
Fluffy, how many troops do you have in that march? 230, right? You have 330? Oh, that just makes so much more sense. Uh, could you bring out 230 for the next run? <laughs> I was like... I was like, hey, yo. Uh... Turns out that 100,000 extra troops, pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, let me in the rally. I'll join, yeah, yeah. Wait, can I get a little spot? Thank you. Uh-oh, everybody left the rally. <laughs> fill it back up, fill it back up. Get back in the rally. <laughs> I'm the worst, man. Yo, I am the worst. <laughs> and then everybody leaves. <laughs> I feel like the Constantine might test okay because the heal is going to be really weird for this situation. But I don't know, it looks pretty bad. The heal's really crazy in this situation. Why do you not trust my archers? I am Grease. Oh, are you geared up? Oh, all right. I wasn't paying attention. Did this garrison heal already? Must have. Had to have. Wait, that's a Charles Martel. Oh, yeah, okay. That's not going to heal. Okay. Oh, I died. GG. Dang. Yeah, Leech has nuts, bro. So this is interesting because Yoda's got the Ottoman archers against the Greece infantry. This is a, a much more fair, I think, test for sure. Clash of the Titans. Yoda versus Pony. True. Yeah, it looks like the result's pretty much the same. Which, it shouldn't be, by the way. I bet you'll be closer, actually. This, to me, looks like less than 5,000 difference. Tell a friend, Liucha open field testing happening right now. Have them drop into the stream, drop some hype on the stream. If you're having a good time, throw a like on here, consider subscribing. I test commanders as soon as they land in the game, but this field testing for me always takes, I think, secondary precedence to sort of understanding the rally and garrison situation. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. So basically the same report, actually. Well, actually, no, 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 it's closer. It just doesn't look like it because you used 330 instead of 230. So the total number actually looks bigger, but I bet you that the 
percentage is better. No, I mean, that's... Oh, you want to do it again? I, you could do it again if you want. Yeah, do it again. Sure. Yeah. Oh, joining the rally. Roger that. I'm in the rally. Yeah, the lower rage cap. Turns out it's real good. <laughs> really good. Yeah. Wow. In a garrison context. So you're generating enough rage that you, in the garrison, are still getting the benefit of the Martell fall damage boost. Wow, that's without a swarm on you. Wow. Wow. Matram, thank you for the very generous super chat, dude. What's up, man? How are you? Big shout out for Matram, who also is in our Call of, uh, Call of Dragons group. And uh, I believe is in Kingdom 1606 in Rise of Kingdoms. Oh, wait, Yo wait, Yoda's got the city theme going too? You have a 15 archer theme and Fluffy has no theme? Okay. Okay, okay. Won the fight but lost the trade. Dang. Dang. So that's, and that's with 15% of extra stats, which is a ton. Wow. Um, before we start swarming each other, yeah, before we start swarming each other, um, let's do a cavalry test, Fluffy. I'm going to bring my calves out. They got to sit 30 seconds though first. 230k, please. Ulrich, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Um, I should save these garrison reports, too. So, Gorgo Charles is not doing great in this context. Tanode, hey, thank you for the super chat, dude. Shout out to Kingdom 1793. Happy Halloween. Or Jabaline. Chiskul, can you try Gorgo Liuche Rally against Dido or Zizka? I don't know that we have the gear set up to pull that off right now. Oh, I gotta join the rally real quick. Hold up. Didn't wait the 30 seconds, chat says. Chat says, oh my god, Gorgo's strong in the open field. Um, Fluffy, let's run that a couple more times. The, uh, weirdness of that combo is we just gotta make sure we wait the 30 seconds for, uh, Huo to get his skills to fire off. Okay. 
Yeah, we, we just gotta make sure we wait the uh, 30 seconds for Huo. Uh, what am I looking at? Oh, who's in there? Gorgo with Constantine? Bro, say it ain't so. Uh, <laughs> Matilda. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Margaret and Bobber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. It's after the shield, or that would. Uh, right, because it has to be below 50%. Yeah. Oh my god. Hey, yo, Constantine meta, what? Mazera, yo, thank you for the super chat. Gorgo Liuchav versus Nevsky Joan, please. Ah, hey, yo. Dude, I, I like unironically think hollow square would be pretty good on this combo. Am I crazy? Because like, you use hollow square, you put a coin on there to activate more shields, which gives you more skill damage mitigation. Yeah. Hey, yo, what is going on in my life? Alright, now I think it's been 30 seconds I'm gonna hit Fluffy. Volter, thank you for the super chat. What about Gorgo Leo? Okay, chat. Everybody wants to see Gorgo Leo, so at some point in this test session, we'll do it. So when we wait the 30 seconds, it really makes a huge difference for the Huo. Wait, do we lose? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah, Constantine's got the relic. Dude, Ch Chadsky's mind is blown. He does not know how to handle this. So I'll, t I'll tell you what's going on. I'll tell you what's going on. Um, so on the fourth scale, when troops led by this commander have been reduced to 50% or less remaining, they receive the powerful heal. Um, but when you're less than 50% of units, all incoming healing effects are decreased by 30% and skill damage taken while a shield is active is reduced by 40%. So Gorgo is putting up shields and that's reducing skill damage by 40%. And like, turns out 40% skill damage taken reduction is a big number. But I also think that maybe it's bugged because like, shouldn't that only last for like one turn? So like, why is that mitigating it that much? Actually, I think... Uh, working on it. 
Yeah, I got it. Dude, so what? what is that? The 40% health is just insane? And the 40% attack reduction is insane? <gasps> wait. Wait, 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 wait. So the combination of Gorgo plus Constantine reduces the attack of the rally by 70%? But, like, Gorgo reduces by 30%, right? And then Constantine reduces by 40%. So, this is 70% stat reduction on that rally for attack specifically. Yeah, the heal is pretty meaningful. I think it's skewing the... the magnitude of the result here. Zeno heal is way more, but that's like an active skill that's like always a part of the fight. Whereas like the Constantine thing is like a one-time thing, you know? So, uh, Constantine is the new secret tech? Is that what we're concluding? Now it's losing, though. True. We got to run more of them. All right. I think my Huo has been sitting in the field long enough. I'm going to swing in on Fluffy. Would this work in real if you were stuffing, though? Well, so there's a couple things that would change in a real situation. Like, first of all, I don't know how anti-swarm this garrison is. But second of all, you'd put a coin on here, and that would give you even more skill damage mitigation. Yeah, we're going to run some Sargon. Uh, I don't have Liu Sargon to run, but I do have Sargon Skippy that I'll run against this. I want to get a couple more tests in. Yoda with the sieges. Yoda is sieging. <laughs> Yoda siege army. True. Gorgo, Skippy, please. Yeah, there's a lot of combos I actually want to test here. We should get to it. All right, Fluffy, let's do a couple rapid fire now. I'm going to switch it up, do some different troops. Um, also, I think we'll want to see, not yet, but we'll want to see some different combos with Gorgo. Like, Chad asked for a Skippy secondary, which I think is pretty reasonable. I think that's the, the got to be the best. Yeah, I mean, Gorgo Liucha has to just be the best. Yeah. Gear on Sargon? Yeah, this is a gear test. It's the... Everybody's using the meta gear. I do not. Now. You have Liucha geared? You need to do Liucha Sargon? Sure. Yeah. 
That's fine. Chat wants to see Gorgo Constantine in the open field now, too. I don't know. Jeez. Dude. Gorgo, Liucha just destroyed Sargon and Skippy. That is crazy. This is an interesting task, the Liucha Sargon. It does look good. I mean, that's what we determined was the best pair before Gorgor landed. I mean, that's a close result, man. Gorgo Constantine delivers. If you, well, you use Sargon with Skippy and then Gorgo with Liu Cha, and but Guan is done. Yeah, Guan's done. So, so you do then Guan, Skippy, Gorgo, Liu Cha? Is that what you would do? So, you, so you think that even though Gorgo is looking really good. You wouldn't actually put her into a two march infantry setup. Well, she does bring something. She, uh, she does a 30% attack debuff to five targets when you're low. Compared to Sargon debuff? No. And you, so you're saying basically you'd rather have the Guan debuff or the Sargon debuff or the Skippy debuff over Gorgo doing the attack debuff only when she's below 50. Now I want to see Constantine primary and future test, lol. Uh, no, the Gorgo should be the primary for sure. For the rage reduction. Um, okay. Uh, yes, more testing. What do we want to see here? Um, Fluffy, could you do Gorgo with Leonidas? Chat wants to know. I mean, basically, chat will ask about every commander combo conceivable that's always how it goes Gorgo Leonidas the iconic duo here I think it's uh, probably not going to win. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, when it gets to 10%, it gets a little nutty, but I don't think it's going to even win from that. Leo, very bad. I don't know what you thought was going to happen, chat, but I didn't think this was going to be good. All right, uh, what other Gorgo concoctions do we have? Gorgo Caesar? All right, yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Gorgo Caesar. You, you're going to have to increase your troop count, though, to match the Caesar skill. What, that's 30k extra, right? So he bring 260. Soleiman. Hey, yo. We have gone off the deep end officially recommending Suleiman. <laughs> it's, it's, we're off the deep end. Gorgo cheating on Leonidas. Gorgo Charles Martel. Actually, I do want to see that. I don't think Gorgo Alex is exciting, personally. Gorgo Mathmad. I don't know about that. Gorgo Harold. I'm still not convinced. This combo could have conceiv conceivably been interesting because Caesar is doing an attack and all damage boost. Which should have been really cool, but I don't think it worked. Assuming the troop count was right. That Caesar did not do any favors for this. We'll check if it's double relic as well. Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. It's like gotta be the Gorgo Lucia. We'll try a Charles. I'm, I'm intrigued. Was that 260? It was 260. Jeez. Sheesh. Oh my god, another Constantine Garrison win. WTF. Bro, I swear to you, Constantine is broken. That can't be right. <laughs> at, at first I thought I was trying to join the rally with cavalry so I'm looking for my cavalry you're testing with Suleiman will you chess Suleiman okay no it's not doing too great is it Suleiman not poggers yo I gotta see that report in alliance chat Soliman, not poggers. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Hey, yo. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, you gotta have different troop types for Soliman, bro. You did? Ugh. Okay. Well, certain talents are not gonna work then. Depending on what you got set up for your infantry, so yeah. You're using the Solomon build for Leech, okay. Blue Core Devil, bruh. Who has a lot of attack boost? It's reasonable to load them up with attack armaments and gear, or focus on health balance. Um, what we've proven in videos in the past is that you don't want to stack attack. What you want to do is get a balance of stats. And the lower a stat is, the more benefit you get from having it. The higher a stat is, the less benefit you get from getting more of it. So I think with cavalry, the beauty here is that the gear is very health focused. So you want to stack that health on the calves. Uh, bro, these archers getting shredded by Constantine. Is that who's in there? Hey, yo, Constantine's back. I don't care what anybody says. Wait. How do we actually counter this? Can I rally it with uh, infantry? Yeah, we'll rally the Constantine with infantry. See what happens. Uh, I have gear on my Sargon. That's good enough. Right? That's good enough. It's not perfect. Okay. We, we will hurry. We will do it quickly. 
And then we swarm the Constantine to see how it does. Alright. It did better than the Xeno? Oh my goodness. Um... Okay. Set. Join me. Kneel before your infantry overlord. Yeah, dude, Constantine is absolutely decimating. I actually don't understand what's happening. It's confusing. Oh, Relic? Yeah, that. so that normal attack boost is nice. That increases Gorgo's damage. Oh, uh, garrison troops get 10% increased attack and take 10% less damage from cavalry normal attacks. It's kind of nice. But like, it's not insane. Like, why is this insane? This result is insane. Gorgo's not just that good, though. Like, we were testing her and we thought that the results were mediocre with Hera. The results were mediocre with Flavius, like all the recent meta commanders sucked with Gorgo and all the old commanders are insane with Gorgo. It doesn't make any sense. I love that the old commanders are relevant. I think the game should do that all the time. I think the best thing for the game is if they make the old commanders constantly relevant, hands down. So you're saying there's a chance. Older commanders getting niche uses out of new releases is amazing. I completely agree. I I think that's the actual best possible thing for the commander meta. The lamest thing, in my opinion, is when two new commanders come out and you just are supposed to pair them together and that's that. Way more interesting when they make old commanders relevant again way more interesting like they should make herald relevant again like not insane but like field relevant um yeah what what additional field testing do we want to do I'm just baffled at the Constantine Garrison. I'm, like, dumbfounded. Chat wants to see Gorgo with Richard the First. Sure. Gorgo Pakal. Oh, yeah, okay. Bring out a Gorgo Pakal. We should just duel it. Let's we'll see what happens in a duel. Or you want to swarm it? Oh, Gorgo Martel. Ooh, yeah, no, Fluffy, that's the one. Gorgo Martel, we should actually do that. That's... Can you imagine if you could just field with Gorgo Martel with a garrison build and then just put it in the garrison and then garrison with it? Like, I feel like that's never been the case for garrisons, ever, in the history of the game, actually. Camani Art is an exception. I have been proven wrong. It did not take you long to prove me wrong. <laughs> no, but the but the garrison build was just... I mean, it wasn't that good for fielding. You probably could run it in the field, though. Yeah, I think you're right.
I think you're right. Gorgo Leonidas. Uh, we already tested it. Confirmed not a power couple. <laughs> Confirmed not a power couple. Dude, this stream is fire. Chadsky, thank you for organizing this. Swarm check. We could run it again without a Tommy. Um, so this is basically the same test you ran with Fluffy when he was doing the swarming. Yeah, after, the, I mean, the heal is really OP for this. No, the garrison's going to win. Yeah, the gar this garrison is winning, I think. Ooh. Hey, um... Fluffy, do you have uh, Pyrrhus maxed and Relict? You share the report. Did someone from the garrison team share the report on that swarm? You got me. Thank you. Oh, I have not tried CJ. You want to do Gorgo CJ? Wow. Yeah, this is uh, this is a really good anti-swarm situation with the Constantine. I mean, Gorg Gorgo's doing the work. Bro, but with a coin on there? Whoa. So good. Wow. No, Pyrrhus is maxed and double relict and did not do well. No, I think Gorgo, if you're going to field her, it's with Liucha, hands down. It's got to be. That's that's the answer.
Oh, Gorgo Skippy is actually winning. You even brought out Martel and brought him back in. We did test the Martel once. Pretty sure. Yeah, there's the Martel. Did not do well. The garrison does well with Martel, yeah. But not in fields. Gorgo Sargon. Alright, Fluffy, can we get a Gorgo Sargon next, please? This is a good ask. I don't I mean I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be great, but I think it's totally worth testing. Theo is pretty bad, unfortunately. Um, we we get the report from that last swarm, by the way. Thank you. It is crazy. Three thirty-eight to five forty-six. I mean, honestly, the Constantine is doing fine, though. Like, it's not insane, but it's doing totally fine. Oh my god! But that Liu Chat just got destroyed. What? Ah. Uh, okay. Jeez. Um. Could you bring out... What do you got here? Oh, Gorgo Alex. All right, we'll do that. After that, we'll do Gorgo Harold. The people want to know. Or Gorgo Pakal. Yeah, either one of those. We tested Gorgo Martel in field. It was not impressive. I think Liuche is like the only thing that actually makes sense. Um... So, yeah, that's brutal. Gorgo Martel does stuff. What accessories are on the Gorgo? Ring and horn. So what you're telling me is that it's actually even better anti-swarm if you just bring the greatest glory in the mix. Like, if you did Greatest Glory with Coin. Oh my god. Greatest Glory Coin would be nutty. Greatest glory coin for open field. Uh, I don't know if I'd use that for open field. <laughs> We're just talking <laughs> for garrison.
14 K whites, bro. You're saying all damage is a double buff? I don't think so. I don't think all damage would be a double buff. It kind of depends on how the attack formula works. Um, and skill damage. Guan's Islands is brutal, man. So we tested Gorgo Leo. It did terribly in the field. So terribly, we were like, all right, don't need to do that again. Anything other than Gorgo Leucha is not it. Yeah. So if you use three infantry marches, what's the game plan? Gorgo with Leucha. Guan with Sargon and Trajan with Skippy. <laughs> right? If you use Trajan. If you don't use Trajan, I still kind of feel like three infantry is like a weird choice. Yeah, Han Guan Honda is also very viable. Skippy Honda is very viable, yeah. Right, so you could do Guan Scar Sargon with uh, Skippy Honda. Yeah. As your three. That actually is super viable. Or Skippy Tarek Ibn Ziyad. Yeah. That's viable. You could do three infantry. I think it actually would be pretty good. I take it all back. Um, hey, Lyric Synthesis. Welcome. So the reason we don't do Liuche primary is that Gorgo has a lower rage requirement on our active skill. So normally the rage requirement is a thousand, but Gorgo has a rage requirement of 900 that only works if she's the primary. And that is a massive rage reduction. I think it would be interesting to test though, but. Yeah, Gorgo Martel is the strongest anti-swarm in the game, I think. Dude, is... What's the better garrison? Gorgo Constantine or Xeno Gorgo? I think it actually, unironically, might be the Constantine. We gotta try it in KVK. Yeah, oh, we gotta try it in KVK and see. Well, this is the only way. Samster says, could the Constantine be good with Gorgo just because of all the tankiness Constantine is providing? Or what do you think? Yeah, that's gotta be it. It's all the mitigation. And I think I take back what I was saying about um, hollow square formation making sense. I think with Martell it could make sense because he's got, got like a big shield, but I don't actually think it makes sense with the Constantine. Yeah, invincible is insane. Skill damage resistance by 5% and 3% extra normal attack up to 12 for every 20% of troops you've lost for Arch is mental. Yeah.
I mean, so if you did Gorgo with Martel, what what would you get here? So Cocoon makes it so the skill damage resistance is increased by 5%. Normal attacks have a chance to increase your strength of shields. Inviolable increases your... Oh, no, actually. Yeah, increases your strength of shields by 5% and makes you take 10% less skill damage when you're shielded. So, dude, the combination... Okay, okay, okay. The combination of Constantine plus Inviolable is a... 50% skill damage taken reduction. Not to mention any talents Gorgo has, just saying. But if you put a coin on that, like, now you have three shield triggers. Yeah. Crown kind of sucks, though. Increases the strength of shields by 5%. Take 3% less damage when you're shielded. I mean, like, you could reduce your damage pretty substantially. With Hollow Square. Like, a, like an actual insane amount of mitigation. Like, Arch is not mitigating, it's slaying. It's just killing your enemy. Which, like, there's a lot of value to that, actually, but... But the mitigation on... Uh, the Hollow Square is nutty. Wow. That's crazy. Chat wants to know what the conclusion is. So, conclusion is, Gorgo with Liucha is the meta field march, if you're going to use Gorgo in the field. But, we only really think you should use Gorgo if you're going to three infantry marches. And for garrisoning, we learned that Gorgo with Constantine is mental. It's probably at the same quality as the Xeno with Gorgo. You think it outperformed Xeno on the rally? Bro. And did worse against a swarm? Is that where you'd land it? The same against the swarm, and... You think that the Constantine's better against the rallies. So... That is... Really good. Constantine. I have that. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna have to go uh, double relic my Martel. Dude, I, I just double relic my Martel. So if I'm garrisoning with it, this KVK, I don't forget. To do that because like it's really good Dude, kind of nuts. Wow, so the Constantine is better than the Xeno, actually.
Yeah, there's totally variability. Yeah. But like, that's insane. Is Gorgo goaded or Gnar? Yeah, Gorgo is very good. For, yeah, I, I would agree that if you are a three March infantry player, she is an amazing addition. She's good, man. It's really impressive. Yeah, I mean, so chat's asking what formation to use. I still think Arch is the best choice. Arch is kind of an easy decision in this instance. What's my tech at? Um, I can show you. I, I need to speed up some tech. I've been kind of slacking. At this point... Basically, the next, like, fight of relevance, everybody's going to have max tech for, the, yeah, the zone fight. Yeah, Gorgo Constantine is actually mental. Uh, I covered Gorgo talent trees in my last vid chat. Let's go, chat. Liu first on Gorgo? Nah, Gorgo primary. Um, and the reason we didn't test it the other way is that you can't change your gear mid arc practice match. So, I yeah, no, we had 1,500 when we were testing earlier. People were very interested. Thank you, Chadsky, for organizing. I really appreciate it, man. Love it. Hey, Chadsky, thank you for the five gifted, bro. I appreciate it, man. And thank you for the five gifted. Oh, Mad Max. Let's go. Gifted. You could run multiple garrisons if you have multiple meta gear sets for infantry, yeah. I feel like if Yoda needs to be garrisoning three things, we have problems. The, the issue at that point is armaments, actually. Not for Yoda, okay. Sure. For the rest of us plebs. Um, you guys are crazy. A Mani Art Desperation Garrison, huh? A Mani Art can get ya. Yeah. Yup. Okay.
Uh, good question. So if you swap in a Constantine, I think it'll look at if the garrison as a whole is below 50%, not your individual march. Yeah, I think it... You don't think you'd get the skill damage reduction if you swapped it in? guys trolling uh chadsky i appreciate you man have a good one that's crazy i mean that results i don't know i wouldn't have expected it Dude, I'm so sad I accidentally deleted my stupid Echelon armaments. Because they weren't very good. But it turns out they were the best that I had and I was using them in Canyon. GG. So now my Trajan is getting beat up in Canyon. <laughs> oh my god. Yo. Sounds like a fun project when it's run by that guy. All right, I'm going to mute to Kingdom real quick. All right, friends. This was a very fun stream. The testing was awesome. Big shout out again to 2605, Peace, Fluffy, Yoda, Chadski, and everyone else who dropped in for testing. I really appreciate you. If you enjoyed the stream, throw a like on here, subscribe to the channel. I got to go figure out some conclusions to draw here and put those summaries into some vids. So subscribe so you don't miss it. I'm going to grab some lunch, then pick up my kid from school. But until next time, you have fun <laughs> smashing the kingdom. Take care, everybody. I'll see y'all real soon.